Okay, boys and girls, I wanna to talk to you just a little bit more about compound sentences. Now, when we're talking about compound sentences, we are talking about taking two simple sentences and we join them. And we join them with a conjunction. And our conjunctions that we've been using are the conjunctions and, oops, right, with the conjunctions and, or, but, and so. Those are the basic ones we have been using, right boys and girls? And our conjunctions always have something else with them. What is it that they always have? What do we always need in our compound sentences, Teddy? A comma. We always need a comma. We always need a comma. Now, when we're writing a sentence or we're reading a sentence and we see a comma, does that mean our sentence is a compound sentence all the time? No, not all the time. So if I have a sentence like this, I like peas, carrots, and beans. a compound sentence, Elisa? No. no, why isn't it a compound sentence? Yeah, because first off, I don't have two simple sentences, right? I don't have two simple sentences. I'm not smashing together two sentences is what you're telling me, right? I'm not taking two smaller sentences and I'm not putting them together. So I'm not taking two separate sentences, I'm not putting them together. So even though I have a comma, and I actually have the word and, but I don't have two separate sentences. So that's not a compound sentence. I could say, I like peas, comma, and, I like turkey, is that a compound sentence? Is that a compound sentence, Ethan? Yes. Yes, why is that a compound sentence? Because in the comma, um, there's a comma before and. There's a comma before and, and I have two simple sentences there. I have, I like peas, I like turkey. So we could see the two simple sentences there. Here, there's only one sentence. I like peas, carrots, and beans. I do not see two simple sentences there. We cannot find two simple sentences. This is just one sentence. Here, we could split that into two simple sentences. If I take this out, I'm going to draw a little thing here. If I took that out, if I took my comma, and my conjunction out, I would have two sentences instead of one sentence, right? I could break that apart. I could take the conjunction out. It always makes me think of our video from Schoolhouse Rock with the conjunctions. Conjunction, junction. If we took this out, it would be like two trains. This train could go that way, that train could go the other way. They'd still be two trains. Here, that's just one train, because it's one sentence. So there we go. So we have to think. Conjunction, not a conjunction. So, I mean, I have the word and here, but this isn't a sentence. I like peas, carrots. I like peas, carrots. Is that a sentence? And beans, is that a sentence? If I walked up to you and I said, and beans, is that a sentence? No. You would look at me and think. You'd be waiting for me to say the rest of that sentence. I'm missing a subject. So here's what we're going to do. 
I have got a paper here. And it's about simple and compound sentence, but this is called a simple sentence when you just say, I like peas. This is just called a simple sentence. Simple. This is our compound sentence. Compound, because we're using our conjunction to join our simple sentences. Okay, and what we're going to do is, is we are going to label. We're going to decide which is simple, which is compound. So we're going to have to really put on our thinking hats to differentiate between the two. I don't think it'll be too hard. You'll have to read it. You'll have to think, hmm, are there two sentences here? Is the conjunction joining them? I think you'll be able to figure it out. Okay? Is everybody ready to do that? Okay, that's what we're going to do.